Hello, my name is William Palacio. I'm a freelance illustrator and children's book artist, and today we're going to go on to part four of my How to Paint Cartoons and Corel Painter series. Um, if you've been with me before, you've seen me uh, do the color flats, do the background. Uh, we went ahead and we put in all the shadows. We went over the line drawing, and we colored all the lines so it uh, kind of blends everything in the picture together a little better, and we get a nice look. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to start putting in the lights. And how we're going to do that, we're going to start off the same way as we started off with the shadows. Uh, now that we have those layers flattened back into one layer, uh, we're going to go to the skin. I'm going to click that, right click, duplicate layer. Uh, we still have preserve transparency on. You want to have that on. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And then we're going to alt click, uh, not the dark color, but the original skin color. Sample that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go towards the yellow for the shadows. So we're going to start going towards the yellow. And then we're going to come up here, add a, a little more saturation. And we're going to find us a nice orangey color. Uh, I'm going to go up here, try to get more of a, a peach color. Maybe a little more saturated. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that should be all right. So now what I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to hit all the spots where the light should go. And again, preserve transparency is on, so I can paint right over this, and the paint only shows up on the skin layer, which is the whole reason why we wanted to go ahead and flatten our colors first. Zoom out, see how that looks. Go back in and continue painting. A lot of the trick when you're digital painting or drawing for that matter is to take your time. Don't try to rush it. If you rush it, your image is going to look rushed and people are going to be able to tell you were just in a hurry and you didn't spend a lot of time on it. If something's not right, go back in and fix it and that's that's the way a lot of times you can tell a professional illustrator from a hobbyist is how much time they're gonna go back in and fix their mistakes if something doesn't look right say I finish this whole painting and I, I zoom out and I look and I say well that hand just doesn't look right I'm not gonna leave it I'm gonna go back in there I'm gonna start from scratch start over and uh, make sure to me it looks right before I send this painting out so I'm going to come in here and continue working on this skin here.
you notice I keep zooming out it's because I want to see how the picture looks up close and I also want to see how the picture is going to look if you know if it's far away what that's going to tell you is uh, when the picture is maybe on the internet in small form say a thumbnail or something along those lines that it's still going to look good alright and there's the skin all done uh, again I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'm going to go through and get all the lights done and then we'll come back in and we'll do up some finishing touches and we'll call the image finished alright as you can see I've got everything uh, pretty much done uh, I've got all the light in and I've got all the reflected light in um, before I call it finished I'm gonna do one more thing and that's gonna be I'm gonna add a layer over the top of the line layer and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in and make a couple of tweaks the first tweak I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some pure white. What I'm going to use that for is I'm going to go ahead and go in here and put the reflection on top of the eyeballs. Now you notice when I first tried to do this it wouldn't let me do it and that's because I still had the preserved transparency uh, on. I uh, want to go ahead and turn that off before you try to do this because it won't let you uh, paint if that's on and there's nothing else on the layer so I'm gonna put a little white on these eyeballs and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some pure white on the teeth and a little reflection on the tongue and maybe a little on the tip of the nose here and I'm not gonna put pure white anywhere else in the image and that's because I want uh, the lightest part of the image uh, the which will show up the brightest on this darker background to be in the face and so the first thing you look at when you look at the image is hopefully his eyes and you look at the face and then you come down and you see the paintbrush and then you're able to put the illustration together and see what's going on okay now that we did that another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna uh, click pick up underlying color and then I'm gonna go over here to my grainy water blender get a smaller size and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna blend these flames together because they're just a little too rigid and why I put uh, pick up underlying layer uh, is this way uh, the blender picks up all the underlying layers the line layer uh, my shadows my light layer all the layers underneath are gonna get picked up by this blender and blended together uh, if I didn't click that then the blender wouldn't pick up anything uh, and you wouldn't be seeing any results here whatsoever and what's nice about Corel Planer, Painter is even though this is all looks blended together it's not blending the underlying layers it's only putting the blended pixels on that layer so if I turn it off it goes back to the way it was if you mess up you can go back in there and change it and that's uh, another nice thing about Corel Painter so now that I got that blended in I've got the whites in the eyes I'm going to uh, kinda go back here have one more look at it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, image completed and I hope you've enjoyed the whole, the whole uh, session of painting lessons and I hope you learned something